host Ghana celebrate their victory as they are declared overall winner of the second ECOWAS under 23 games. Ghana, winner of the maiden edition, and Nigeria closely contested, but the Ghanaians eventually shot to the top of the medal table at the end of the day. 11 ECOWAS member states took part in the games and remarkably every country was represented on the medal table. All the contingents were acknowledged at the closing ceremony. It was the climax of a very exciting one week that brought young athletes as well as officials and sports administrators from all over the region to Ghana to witness remarkable sporting action. The games held under the theme Promoting Unity Through Sports accelerated the ECOWAS regional integration agenda. Ghana's Commissioner for Sports, Clement Kofi Homadu, acknowledged the many successes of the Games. We are all aware that the wars in West Africa and various conflicts elsewhere tend to do, use the youth as the frontline warriors to settle scores and to commit all kinds of atrocities. The use, the use of the youth for these kinds of activities is definitely not desirable. The youth who are the future leaders of tomorrow can do better and can find other constructive ways to make this world a better place for themselves in the future. This underscores the urgent need to use sports as a tool for peace, as a tool for unity and stability in our sub-region. Commissioner for Human Development and Gender at the ECOWAS Commission, Dr. Adrian Diop, representing the ECOWAS Commission President, suggested that the ECOWAS Games should be considered as a qualifier for the All-Africa Games, as suggested by Regional Minister of Sports. The ECOWAS Games will be a platform for our athletes to give their best performances and prepare for international competition. We can be proud because West Africa possesses the largest potential of high sportsmen and women. In fact, our youth are members of many European and American sports federation, and they make us proud. The practice of sports and the organization of sports events is beneficial in many ways to our countries and communities. We cannot afford to ignore the health benefits resulting from the regular practice of sports and the positive impact of major sports events in our economies. For one week that the game lasted, about 2,500 athletes from 11 ECOWAS member states competed in five games held at the El Wak Stadium and the Accra Stadium. Nigeria dominated the athletics event decided at the El Wak Stadium with a highlight as the 100 miles relay both for the men and women. <laughs> In traditional wrestling, regional powerhouse got some opposition from rivals Niger, but still went ahead to power their winner to retain hold of the overall trophy. Host Ghana were ruthless in the boxing event, punching their way to the finals of all the five categories competed for and going ahead to take all the five gold medals. It was a night Ghanaian fans had a lot to cheer. Ghana also won the male handball final, edging out Benin Republic in a closely fought match. <laughs> Director of the ECOWAS Youth and Sports Development Center, organizers of the game, said its objectives of the ECOWAS Games had been achieved. We've seen the results posted by our athletes, which go to show the preparedness of our athletes and their commitment to achieving a greater excellence in, in sports. 
So in our mind, we think that we've um, had a very good game. For the athletes and officials from the participating Equus Games, there were lots of memories to take away. I feel like I'm on top of the world because um, for us to partake in um, this championship. Uh, I've met a Nigeria guy who took part in the it's an, uh, 1005 and he conversed and he's from Nigeria. And he said through our conversation and he said you'll be coming after this competition you'll come to Ghana and train with us so that there will be a competition at, uh, at Nigeria. So he invited us to come there. edition of the competition where Nigeria hosted the maiden edition in Nigeria in 2010 for all winners. So now that we have the flag... Cote d'Ivoire is hosting the next Equus Games scheduled for 2014. In a symbolic gesture, the baton was handed over for the presentation of the Games flag handed over to Cote d'Ivoire's ambassador to Ghana, Ambassador Bernard Ehui Kotoan. <laughs> As the Echoes Games held in Accra, another event of some significance was also going on in the city. For the first time in six years, Echoes organized a sensitization program in Ghana to raise local awareness on its policies and programs. The objective is to get the West African community to take ownership of everything that Echoes is doing for the upliftment of the region and its people. Various segments of the Ghanaian society, including officials of the government, Representatives of non-governmental organizations, civil society, market women, student associations, customs, immigration and the media were briefed by officials of the ECOWAS Commission and ECOWAS institutions. Since the last time a sensitization program was held in Ghana, ECOWAS has gone through fundamental changes as a regional organization with a new administrative structure, institutions and programs. Ghana's Minister of Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration Alaji Mohamed Momoni acknowledged the fact that ECOWAS is now involved in just about all sectors of life in the region. The minister, who was represented by Ambassador Leslie Kojo Kristen, stressed that everybody has to be carried along. Implementation can only succeed if it is people driven and people centered. ECOWAS citizens must know what they stand to benefit from community programs and projects, and above all, know what they stand to lose if they do not play their part in the implementation process. Director of Communication at the ECOWAS Commission, Mr. Sonny Ugo, says the sensitization program started 15 years ago and it is part of programs of their commission taken around the various member states of ECOWAS. Against the background of our ECOWAS of citizens, we we'll want citizens to drive our programs and activities. We we'll, of course, we we'll need to explain it to them so that we can mobilize them to support it and to participate in it. Participants at the workshop were overwhelmingly concerned with the implementation of the protocol on free movement of persons, goods and services, which is designed to drive regional integration. 
The consensus was that member states need to take proactive action to eliminate the current harassment, extortion and corruption being perpetrated